So hey folks, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're actually at Herdwick's Cafe in Comerston. Uh, we're just about to go over uh, Hardnot and Rhinos Pass down towards Esdale and then back over uh, towards Greenod. So nice loop and a couple more passes today. I've got my cappuccino and a nice slice oh, of flapjack. Now one of the uh, things that people don't realise when they go over Hard Knot Pass is that there is an actual old fort uh, on the top of there, or the ruins of one. So we're going to uh, have a look at that today and see if we can get the drone up so I can give you an aerial shot of the actual site. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, I'll just finish my coffee and flapjack and we'll be right back. So we're just leaving Herdwick's Cafe and uh, we're heading north out of Coniston towards Ambleside. So just keep on this road and up this road somewhere there'll be a left with a signpost to uh, Hardnot and Rhinos Pass. Now it's been sunny all morning while I've been trotting up here to Coniston. Uh, had a lovely coffee there at Herdwick's Cafe. Highly recommend it folks if you're on this uh, or planning this trip then it's a nice start point and also a beautiful time of the year with it being autumn. So on to another couple of passes in the Lake District today. Uh, two of the most famous ones really and also the most steepest. I think it's uh, a gradient in places of one in three, one in four and also I mentioned there's a, uh, a Roman fort at the top of Hard Knot Pass and I'll give you a little bit of information on that when we get up there. There we go, the sun's just out now. Beautiful. Look at that scenery, folks. Now, temperature today being Sunday is 12 degrees and we're about probably 8 or 9 degrees down on what it was a week ago, so the weather's suddenly changed to normality really of this time of year up in this part of the world and as you can see I've got my Gore-Tex jacket on got my heated gloves on today so uh, all nice and cosy and warm hence why I bought the, the gear for winter so I can get out and ride in more comfort and not be cold at the end of the, uh, the journey now if you're up this way it doesn't matter what time of year uh, do expect a little bit of traffic it doesn't matter whether it's summer or winter you are going to get some traffic and also it's single track in uh, a lot of parts with passing places so a nice steady run over but it should be pretty glorious today with the uh, the sun out beautiful vistas like I say we'll get the drone up when we get to the top and uh, show you an aerial shot and it's quite an interesting shot uh, when you get the drone up above the Roman fort you can see the uh, the outside or the out uh, lying buildings and uh, you get the idea of how it used to look beautiful lake here look at this absolutely splendid now a little bit of news with uh, a company called sportsbikeshop.co.uk uh, one of the biggest retailers, if not the biggest, I think, in the UK. They've got about six stores around the UK, but uh, I order a lot of stuff online, as you see, with the, uh, the clothing and boots and things that I've just bought. And I buy a lot of stuff throughout the year from them, just because of the great service, really. Next day delivery. Even if you order on a Sunday, it still arrives on the Monday. And uh, just fantastic service and support from the, uh, the team there. But yeah, subscriber, David, thank you for the heads up on the one on the store that's opening up in Preston in Lancashire. Uh, we do lack a little bit of uh, a decent motorcycle clothing store. I know you have another one in Preston, uh, but they're a bit limited on different brands and things that they stock. So I'm really happy that sportsbikeshop.co.uk will be opening up in Preston shortly. The only problem is, it's not going to be good for my wallet, really, because uh, I do like uh, having a look in store, and uh, by all means, I'm sure they have a lot of great brands. So yeah, if you live in the uh, the northwest, 
and that's coming to Preston very shortly. Ah, you can't get better than this, can you folks? Just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect time of year. I would say the most beautiful time of year. If you can get a day like today where it's sunny, it is the most beautiful time of year to come into the Lake District. And a great day to be heading over another couple of uh, high passes. So we're just coming into Skellith. And I think the turning left where we need to be is uh, up this road a little bit. A little bit further on down the road just here. The Langdales. So uh, you need to head down this road. Somebody else on a KTM just coming down here. going to turn left just here, Little Langdale. Obviously a guy doing the same route behind me. And why not? Spectacular day for it. A few cyclists, nice to see. Whee. And that's what I mean about the cars, that there are a few passing places you can get past, which is all good. Nice little stone cottage. Ah. Come on. Three shires in. Nice little pub. A few, few bikers there. Plenty doing the, uh, the Rhinos Pass. So now we're following a car. So if another car comes the other way, it's going to be a little bit of a problem. Hopefully he'll pull over somewhere and let me by, if he'll be so kind. Another car coming, but there's a passing place, so. That's the beauty about being on bikes, you can see over walls, whereas he couldn't see that car coming then until he got around the corner. Another reason to ride bikes. <laughs> now, I once remember, many years ago when I was a kid, my dad bringing, I think it was my mum's, Vauxhall Viva over these two passes and literally the uh, the gradient I think it burnt the clutch out on the car and we didn't uh, actually make it over <laughs> all Vauxhall Viva pale blue colour remember it well uh oh now we're scuppered Need a reverse gear on the bikes, a bit like the BMW R18. Nice KTM there, brand new. Got all of the uh, the gear, the climb gear on. I think he's got the same boots on as me as well, or similar. Very nice. He's letting the bikes by, which is good. What is this woman doing? She could just pull forward a half a metre, she's only on a bicycle. Thank you. Yeah, I much prefer following another bike, to be honest. So you've got Rhinos Pass to the left. <laughs> and Bleetarn and Great Langdale. Over to the, uh, the right hand side just now. See if we can have a stop and a quick chat to this guy. Looks like he's not uh, from around this way. So it'll be interesting to see where he's come from. And here we go, over the cattle grid. Woo, a bit slippy.
Now you just got to be careful up here. Some of these turns, a little bit of a gradient off camber. And if you're going too slow on a very tall adventure bike, you could very well drop it very easily. And I'm talking from experience, I nearly have done in the past. Not on this bike, but others when I've been over here. But look at that scenery. Absolutely mega. Just helps with the sun touching through the clouds just there. Not many days you get to do these two passes in decent weather. Absolutely awesome. Now, sheep, just be careful. You are in their territory and uh, all these rocks at the side of the road do look like sheep from a distance. Wow, wouldn't like to fall off that drop. Bit of water going down a stream just over there in the distance. And then we've got a uh, camper van just up here. But like you see, there's uh, a few passing places he's going to pull in, which is nice. Thank you. Oh yeah. Just what the tiger was made for, these type of terrains. Now you could do this on any bike. And even come up here on the uh, the Bonneville. Now the old fort at the top of the next pass. So this is Rhinos, and then you've got Hard Knot that follows suit straight away. You could literally ride past the fort. So I have marked it as a position on the GPS, so I don't miss it. I think there's a little bit of a walk up to it from the road. But we'll see if there's a an off-road path I can go up on the bike. Camera doesn't pick up how steep this is really. Wow, they're brave cyclists. Not young cyclists neither. <laughs> Fair play to them. Now you've got to have good brakes going down the other side of this. A fair drop again, about one in three coming down the other side. But look at that valley. Absolutely epic. Scotland's lovely, but well, that'll take some beating, for sure. Now, I'd imagine it's nice for a picnic up here, by the stream. Obviously not while it's uh, about 8 degrees now, 8.5 degrees up in the top here. But in summer months, you get a good day. That will be absolutely beautiful. Definitely a popular route for motorcyclists. One of the bucket list tick off routes. Hopefully these guys don't cut the corner. Little sign here saying Eskdale via Hard Knock Pass. A lovely bridge, look at this. Amazing. Now, see if we can get past this red MG at some point. Is he going to let me pass to you? So, Hard Knot and Rhinos Pass, which one's the, uh, the worst to get over? So this is going to be the steepest uh, part of this one, I would imagine. It's been a while since I've been over here. A long while. So, uh, happy to... Uh, have a little explore today up here. I'm going on a cruiser there. Is it a Harley? Oh! He's dropped it. You alright buddy? Let's, uh, let's help you get this up. You need to keep moving on this road. One second. Ready? Let me 
just grab the front brake and then it doesn't move. Right, ready? Can you pop the stand down? There you go. Yeah, it's a difficult one. Have you been over before? No, it's the first time. First time. Always try and keep to the other side of the road. That's my tip. If you get too near the edge, it just drops off. Good on. All right, bud. That's one heavy bike to take over the pass. Okay, onward. <coughs> Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep the momentum. Now, what was I saying about the other one being a hard climb? I'm out of breath now after lifting that. This one's definitely the steepest. And looking at some of those turns just there, that lad's gonna struggle to get round them. Got to really take it easy. Feather the clutch. Not an easy pass. I mean, on the uh, the 21 inch front wheel on this bike, just getting the radius turning around the corner is quite a challenge. But uh, on a Harley, it's gonna uh, it's gonna be hard. Would I recommend coming over here in a car? Definitely not. Would I recommend coming over here on a motorcycle? Yes, if you're an experienced motorcyclist and you've got the right bike for the job. Uh, like I said just now, Harley's big heavy trying to get around them turns. He's gonna struggle, really is gonna struggle. So we're just uh, heading over the other side now. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. The visibility today. I know the camera doesn't pick it up. But literally, I can see right out to the coast. Right out to the sea over in the distance there. Now, I don't know if you can see right in front of me is the fort. So we'll get down there. We'll get the drone up and uh, show you that because it's a pretty impressive Roman fort site. Obviously just the, uh, the outlying walls are there now. But what a post. Imagine being posted here as a soldier. Unbelievable. It's funny to think about uh, forts. You know, I've not thought about forts since I was a kid and playing with action men and uh, different things or a Lego fort. <laughs> That's what I think of now when I think of forts. Lego. It's just beautiful with all of the uh, the bracken at the side of the road. Now it's turned golden. Golden brown. Come on sheep. Don't be frightened. Now I did top up with petrol in Coniston. Uh, it's maybe a good place to uh, to fill up before you head over here. I'm not sure when the next petrol station will be. Okay, so that's a little, little car park just there to the fort. Just wondering, is there a road up to it? A little bit of a settlement there, the outlying bits. I think what I'll do is I'll stop here and uh, we'll fly the drone over there. Just put the bike into a lowering position. Just onto this grassy area here. Ooh. 
Oh, fine, how are you? Did you see that Harley rider? Uh, he dropped it. Yeah, I came up the hill and literally I pulled over and helped him back up with it. But the next two corners, they're really, really tight. It's not the bike to bring up here, is it? I'm thinking of those, those corners, the radius is not going to get round those and keep a constant speed to be able to do it. So Hard Knock Fort was the most isolated and remote Roman outpost in the UK. Built in the 2nd century AD, the site is 375 feet square. It housed 500 men, the 4th cohort of Dalmatians, infantry soldiers from Croatia, Bosnia, Herzegovina and Montenegro and they guarded the Roman road between Ambleside and Ravenglass from invasion by the Scots. A short walk from the road brings you to the bathhouse situated just outside the main gate. Now what are the chances of that? Actually I pulled up next to the old Roman fort and then the KTM rider that was behind me that had pulled up taking some pictures further down the road before I actually helped that Harley guy pick his bike up. The guy pulled up next to me and he's looking at my Triumph and I'm thinking nah it can't be because I know when I bought this bike the guy that had traded this one in obviously this is a 2022 Tiger and he traded it in for a KTM and I thought I know the guy lives in Scotland it can't be him Anyway, he looked at it and he, he said to me, he said, what's the registration of that bike? And he looked at it and he said, that's my old bike. Can you believe it? What are the chances of me coming over Hard Knot and Rhinos Pass? And then the guy coming down from Scotland to ride the same route, actually right behind me. And he's riding behind his, his bike that he traded in. Really lovely to, uh, to meet you if you do watch this video. Thanks for looking after this bike so well before I got it. There's the Estale Railway, by the way, guys. Little steam railway. Train that takes you round and about. Always good if you've got the kids. Been an absolutely splendid day. Like I say, if, uh, if you're a little unsteady on a motorcycle, probably not the best pass to come over. Uh, but if you're feeling confident, then uh, you'll get so much uh, joy, really, from coming over that pass. Absolutely spectacular scenery, stunning area. And if you can pick a day like today where the sun's out, it's even more better. Stanley House there, accommodation. Got chalets, soft catering. Plenty of places to stay. And this is what I love about exploring, is you never know what's going to happen on the route like today picking bikers up off the road helping out meeting the previous owner of the motorcycle that you're on which I still can't get over amazing so I'll pop a little map up on the screen again of the route that we've done today like I say I came up from Lancashire started the route out at the Herdwick cafe and then all the way over the two passes and then we're just making our way round now and then back towards Greenod to then head back on the A590 home where I'll then download all this footage and then uh, spend many hours editing this getting it ready for your viewing today now I will say if you're not a subscriber to the channel guys if you can give me a, uh, a like it all helps and if you don't like the video still give me a like <laughs> It all helps the channel, thank you very much. And uh, like I say, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, just hit that subscribe button. We're nearly at the 13,000 subscriber mark, so I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, you can just hit that, get us up to there. And then what we're gonna do here, just by the King George V Inn, is we're gonna head left. So you can go right to Whitehaven, just down there. Or you can head left towards Ulfa and Broughton which is where we're going to go just now. Yeah, if you're up this way, definitely worth giving these two passes a run. Like I say, make sure you've got good weather for it, though. It does help if the roads are a bit uh, drier and in good condition. 
thanks for tuning in. Uh, next weekend we won't have a video. I'm actually taking the, uh, the wife and kids away for a little uh, treat for my wife's birthday for the weekend. So uh, if you do follow us on uh, Instagram, I'll pop the Instagram in the, uh, the lower left-hand corner of the screen just now. Head over there and if you can follow us on Instagram, I'll be posting some pics of the uh, little treat and adventure over the weekend. And we'll resume videos uh, the following weekend as normal. So uh, thanks again. Take care and uh, ciao for now.